Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to make your very own LUTs in raw therapy. In the last tutorial we went over how to use them, how to access them and things like that. Um, but today it's going to be how to make your own so that you can make your pictures look exactly the way you want them to with very minimal effort. First thing that you have to do is come here to your browser and you have to come here to generator.iwltbap.com and this uh, I'm not 100% sure who makes this program but if you just click download and it takes you to the download LUT generator and you can just download it um, and when you download it you come here to my desktop when you download it, uh, there's a zip file, and inside the zip file, there's this IWLT BAP LUT generator folder, and you open that up, and then you come here to wherever what uh, operating system you're using, whether that's Mac or Windows. So I'm going to open up the Windows one, and then I'm just going to double click on the EXE file. Okay, so now we have this interface and we can generate a hauled or we can convert to cube. Before we generate a hauled, let's go ahead and hit the question mark here. And you can see here that it says the 3D LUT can either be in uh, 25 or 64. You generally want to go with a larger LUT. So we're going to keep that at 64. So now I'm going to click generate hauled and it brings up this box and I can go ahead and choose where I want it to save my hauled file and I'm just going to click on my desktop here and then click OK. Okay, so now you can see here that we have this neutral dash 512 PNG and that's exactly what we want. So this is a neutral hauled LUT and as you remember in our last tutorial uh, we talked about a little bit about hauled LUTs. There's kind of two general file formats. There's the hauled, H-A-L-D, and there's the cube. Cube is used for lots of different things, mainly for film uh, color correction and, and uh, color editing, as well as Lightroom uses cube. So if you want to, when you're done with this process that I'm going to show you, you can just take your generated hall that has the color corrections applied to it and then click convert cube select your file and this program will output a cube file for you to use in those programs but for uh, Lightroom we're using the hauled so I have this neutral right here uh, and now I'm going to come back to Lightroom and I've chosen this picture that I took of kind of a sunset through the mirror and I know the mirror's dirty and things like that. And I'm going to just go ahead and apply a bunch of different um, color corrections to this. And I'm only going to be, it's important to note that you can only do color correction. You can't do any image correction. An image correction would be like noise reduction or noise renew, removal or sharpening. So um, let's just go ahead and make a real quick edit on this image. First of all, I'm just going to brighten it up a little bit, a little bit more, okay. And uh, I'm going to add a little bit of contrast, that's too much. Something like that, mm, okay. And then I'll come over here to the toning and I'll come to the, cur oh sorry, sliders. Wait a second, ah, there it is, color balance. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the highlights warmer. I'm going to turn this up to 100 so I can see what I'm doing. Make the highlights warmer. And make the shadow... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm doing this all wrong. Highlights warmer. Make the shadows cooler. so that we get this contrast between the shadows. And then I'm just gonna cool the mid-tones off just a touch. I'm gonna pull that over. Okay, so let's say that this right here is the LUT that I wanna save so that the next time I take a sunset shot, I really want the warm 
sunset, but I want it to be very much cooled off. So I've already made the image corrections to my image. And remember, I can't crop or uh, change the image, the image resolution. That's not going to do anything with my LUT. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and if I pull down my camera roll here, you can see my image is right there. If I go back to my file browser and I double click again on my desktop. So if I go back to my desktop, you can see that our neutral LUT is actually not here. And that is because raw therapy can only edit JPEGs, TIFFs, or raw images. So let's go ahead and I've opened up GIMP and I can just drag my neutral 512 uh, PNG here. And I'm just going to hit Control Shift E to export. Oops, Control Shift E, there you go. And I'm just going to change this from a PNG to a TIFF because I don't want there to be any compression on this image uh, that would take away from, from the data. And I'm going to say none and uh, just click export. Okay, and now you can see I have a neutral 512.tiff. And I can go ahead and close down GIMP. If I open Raw Therapy Backup and I double click on the desktop, you can see there it is. That is uh, our neutral. So I, all I have to do is come here to my edited image, right click on it, and come down to Processing File Operations and click Copy. And now I come here to my neutral and right click and go Processing File Operations and Paste. And you can see that the image changed just slightly from where it was. Now we can go ahead and uh, say put to Q. And I'm going to export it as a TIFF with an 8-bit float. And I'll just go ahead at desktop. I'll go ahead and click export. This is our new image right here. You can see it's a little bit brighter. And I'm going to rename that to uh, let underscore uh, tutorial. Now if we come back into our pictures folder where we had our hauled C let folder and I'll just create an, oh I've actually already created a folder here called Jacob Personal Let and I can just drag this into there. And now if I go ahead and restart raw therapy, I can rechoose this image, right click on it and come down to process, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, come down to processing file operations and click clear. And you can see that the image goes back to normal to what it was at the beginning. And now if I come to the file, uh, I'm sorry, the color and come down to film simulation and turn that on, and then come here to Jacob Personal Let, and you can see Let Tutorial. I can select that, and bam! My image is exactly the same color-wise as it was in the previous, uh, with using the previous file operations. And now I can select that time and again if I have images that I want to apply that Let to. So I hope that this has been really helpful for you guys. Spend some time making your own LUTs and uh, you know, share your work if you, if you want to. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you so choose, and I will see you next time.